Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to this video. Um, this is actually a very exciting time right now. This is the start of a series called Laying the Foundation. And uh, the reason why I decided to do this was I've been asked numerous times about all different kinds of foundation. How do you apply it? Can you do a tutorial on applying a mineral foundation or liquid foundation? And I thought, well, let's just do a series. Let's lay it all out there. And um, I'm going to show how I apply different kinds of foundation with different brushes and methods and things like that. And this will probably go on all throughout the coming month uh, interspersed with other kinds of videos. So the first um, brush, and I'm going to do a liquid foundation today, and this is actually the look, the kind of foundation that I use um, for work when I go to anchor. Um, I use this Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation in 200 Soft Beige, and I use my Coastal Sense Duo Fiber Stippling Brush. And so as you can see, it's a little, it's, it's been used quite frequently. Um, and you may recall when I did my review for the Coastal Sense uh, brushes, this was in there, and I said, well, it gives very sheer uh, coverage. It was like I'd used it one time, and um, I found the coverage to be very sheer, but as I've gone on and kept practicing with it, I really like the coverage. You can build it up a little bit, and I think that's what you'll be able to see in this video, but yet you also can, you, you can do the extremes. You know, you can build up your foundation coverage, but you can also keep it a little more minimal, and it actually does stay longer that way with a little more sheer finish. So, um, to start off with, I gotta get my hair, just took a shower, but I gotta get my hair uh, up out of my face for this. And I have also already applied um, my moisturizer and my Rimmel Fix and Perfect primer, so my face is nice and smooth. And so I'm just gonna take my foundation and actually just use my hand as my palette and squirt out just a little bit, just a little little dollop is on there and I probably won't even use all of that that's I'm kind of trying to show the sheer approach to it and now I'm just going to take my brush and just tap the light colored tip in there okay so you got it on there and then I usually just kind of do one side of my face at a time and what I'm doing this this is kind of the stippling aspect of it I'm just dotting it all over the side of my face and I can see the product, but as I keep dotting, anybody who is in art knows what stippling is. Anybody who did a lot of pen and ink. Um, but the, you're stippling, and you can you start off still being able to see the product, but as I keep doing this, that you can just see the foundation disappearing into my skin. And then, so usually that's kind of the first step to applying is just dotting it on. And then the next step, just to make sure it's fully blended, I just kind of work over it in circular motions. I go all the way down to the jaw line, um, up in and around my eye, circular motions all over there. And then you just repeat this like I usually go to my chin next, and around my mouth, and you just dot till it disappears, and then blend circular motions. Okay? So super easy. As you can see, you're just repeating. I'm dotting it all over. I'm dotting it on my skin until it disappears, and then I'm working it in with circular motions. Now this this brush does tend to shed just a little bit, so you do have to watch out for that if you have purchased this or are planning to. Just be aware, but it was not that expensive. I think around like seven bucks or so, but you can watch my Coastal Sense brush review video for more on it. Um, going over the nose right now. And then lastly is just the forehead. So I'm just dotting all over. And keep in mind, you know, there may be some places where you don't need to, some parts of your face where you don't necessarily feel like you want all that much coverage, then don't go, you know, do more of a blending outward from where you put it on rather than applying fresh, you know, foundation to it. You know what I mean? Like instead of going back to your hand and putting it on, go ahead and just like start in one spot and blend outward. That one spot, if you wanted to do it that way, would probably be your nose or the center of your face and then you would blend outward. But if you want more, you know, that coverage all over, I mean, this is just the way I do it before work when I really do need to have 
um, good coverage <laughs> for my foundation. And you can see what I'm doing here. Um, I'm blending it up right up to my hairline. It's not getting in my hair or coloring my hair at all. I mean, I've got dark hair, so it would show if it was. But um, you just really want to make sure you've blended it all in. And then once you've gone all over your face, around your eyes and everything else, I just continue to buff a little more. Just make sure, you know, you do not want any lines around the ear, jaw, and uh, hairline. And also around your eyebrows. I usually just go over that as well. If you think you're getting um, some product on your eyebrows and it's lessening the color of your eyebrows, um, usually a clear gel at the end when you set your eyebrows and that kind of thing, um, that will sort of bring the brows back to life a little bit. But anyway, it's pretty much just that easy. I go onto my neck a little bit and that is that foundation application. That is how you apply a liquid foundation with a stippling brush. So I hope you guys found this a little bit educational and uh, gave you some ideas. Maybe if you've seen this brush around and you're thinking, how do I use that? Well, this, ha this brush does have other purposes. Some people use it just as a uh, brush for powders, for a um, all-over face powder or a bronzer or shimmer powder. You know, if you use it with powders, you will get a very light application and you use it for foundations. It's just very interesting that a brush like this can be used for a liquid, but lots of people, um, it's becoming more popular, I think. You'll probably see more people on YouTube doing this. And uh, um, anyway, look for more of these videos to come on how to apply foundation. Thanks for watching.